Hey everybody, as you can see, it's a new year, 2018. On December 31st, 2017, Microsoft um, considered that date as the end of free Windows 10 upgrades for customers who are using like the accessibility products of the operating system. Truth be told, um, you could still upgrade to Windows 10 for free just from any Windows 7 machine, just um, well, excluding Enterprise Windows, but just by downloading the media creation tool and doing an upgrade install or running booting off of your installation media and typing in your Windows 7 product key or your Windows 8 product key. Well, here it is 2018, and let's see if we can still do a free Windows 10 upgrade. We have a clean install Windows 7 on here that is activated. So let's go ahead and pop in the installation USB. And let's see if we can do an upgrade that will be activated. And it's also like, let's see if this old laptop can run Windows 10, which it should. It is a rather data laptop, but it's actually a pretty nice machine for its time. I kind of like these machines. It's been a while since I've seen a keyboard this nice. It's even ni it's even slightly nicer than the one that was on the Inspiron 1525. This is an Inspiron E1405. It has an Intel Core Duo. No, not Core 2 Duo, but Core Duo processor. Not even a 64-bit CPU. And I believe it's based off the old P6 architecture that was the same architecture as the Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, Pentium 3 were based off of. So essentially, Intel at the time decided that Netburst was so crappy and um, that um, with designing some of their newer processors at the time, they were going to use the regular P6 microarchitecture until they came out with the core, which I'm not sure if core is off the new core architecture or if core 2 is off the new ar uh, architecture, known as the core architecture, but anyways, that to a side. Now the setup utility should run as usual. We'll accept the license terms. Okay, we're going to start the installation. And once it's all done, we'll see the end result. Okay, now when this tent is installed, we just need to go ahead and run through the out of box experience. I'm going to skip network connectivity for now. We're clearly missing some drivers, but let's go ahead and plug in our network cable. We do have a network driver, I'm going to choose no on this. So we are on a network now. At least connected to the internet at least.
And of course, it's still got to download and install the apps. Let's go to settings. And we are activated. It's taking a while because this machine isn't the newest and greatest and also it's doing stuff in the background as well. Activation. And let's see. And we are activated. So, looks like we can still upgrade Windows 7 and Windows 8 to Windows 10 in 2018. Now, we can't guarantee that this will continue to work, but um, pretty cool. Say this, Microsoft has essentially left the door open secretly. They have said, okay, we can't do it anymore, but um, without saying anything, we're, we're going to leave the door unlocked so you can just walk right in and do it. <laughs> so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I answered your question, and thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel? That's CubeCop MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.